snippet. Uh, number 68 is a band called U2, and the song is In God's Country. Um, okay, so Joshua Tree in 87. Uh, you, you, I mean, tell me about uh, how 91X. My favorite X of all time. I got into U2. I saw U2 in 1983 at the US Festival. It was after war okay. had come out. I was 18. Me and all my friends. I grew up in Northern California. We all ditched the last day of school and drove down to, you know, San Bernardino, <laughs> yep. right? The US Festival. Yeah, um, that's right. We saw you two. We went to the Bowie Day. So it was Bowie, Missing Persons, Pretenders, Stevie Nicks, uh, uh, and you too. <laughs> and yeah, you too. With the so wasn't the clash, was it? No, or was clash that the was other uh, the clash day. That they were their own animal. I wish I had gone on that day too. Um oh my god, that U2 ch performance changed my life. Changed yeah. my life. I had no idea what this guy was like live. He climbed you ever seen that video where he climbs oh, yeah. to the top of the scaffolding. <laughs> You know, security is like underneath him, not knowing if he's going to fall. The band is like doing a long term jam because it takes him 10 minutes to get to the top. They're just jamming. And then he gets up there and throws a white flag off the stage and it spirals down, you know, during fucking surrender. And it was like, my God, that band, I, it, they made my heart jump. Like they, Every time I see them, they do something to just pull me out of, you know, whatever I'm doing and, and just be in the moment with them. It's like one of the most exciting bands I've ever seen in my life. And I became a purist at that point. I already had Boy in October, but man, after seeing them, it just, it really changed the way I viewed everything. They were hands down the best band at that thing. Um, mm -hmm. just so much noise, but it fucking Bono on stage, man. You just can't compare him to anybody. So when that record came out, I was, I, I look at that record as being one of my favorite records of all time because, and the song on that record was that I liked the most, wasn't even one of the hits. It was uh uh Red Red Hill Mining Town. Red Mining oh, Red Town, yeah. Um, yeah. Just because I liked the simple sort of loping of that song. It was just an awesome hook. And to me it wasn't overstated, it wasn't anthemic, it was pretty and it had its place on that album. Um but god damn, that's a beautiful album from start to finish. <laughs> what a masterpiece. This is the cutest thing, by the way, you guys. I have these little birds that come in my window. <laughs> and this one in particular comes all the way over here. I don't know if he's trying to build a nest right here. I hope he or she does. They're so cute. That's so sweet. I have hummingbird feeders. I've become like the total old man birder. <laughs> it happened during COVID, you guys. It's like, oh, look at that. What is that? Uh, you know. <laughs> Well, are those stellar jays or is that a blue jay? Become that guy. Oh, it's yeah. a healthy As hobby. You're, that, you're, yeah, true North Westerner. Yeah. Um, uh, did you see? Like, I'm sure you two probably played Jack Murphy Stadium or where were they in '87? They probably so played. I don't. Like I I I know I saw them down there. Um, but I feel like most of the times I saw them were before. Before I moved to San Diego, I moved to San Diego in 84. So I think I saw him like three times in a year um, and then saw him numerous times after that. I don't recall where they played in San Diego, it, but I guarantee you yeah. I was there. It had to have been Jack Murphy because it's by then they were here. They were playing in like the sports arena. So in 87. Right. So. I mean, it could have been the you? sports arena too, right? Yeah. Like we had the sports arena. Oh, wait, are you in San Diego? No, we're Diego? in LA. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Did uh okay, did uh did you bring any of the U2 guys down to Tijuana <laughs> at all or what? No, you, fact, did you ever get to meet I them? have never met anybody in this band. I 
I did a live broadcast from the Zuropa tour in the Tacoma Dome. And nice. they um they uh told me I couldn't speak to the band, I couldn't interview the band, but I didn't want to take that for a no. So I decided to I had a a pass and decided to go explore. And I got on this elevator in the building and all of a sudden the doors opened and there was Bono and his security. And I was like, hello. And they jumped in, <laughs> hit the button, uh, like pushed Bono out. So he didn't take that elevator uh, and escorted me out of the, oh. out of the backstage oh. area. I can just though. imagine how it, it's like, yeah, I, I can imagine how excited you are right now just talking to us. And then if Bono had it's like a young, like, a, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would probably escort him out, like, oh my God, this, we are not safe. Right. This guy's insane. Yeah. I was excited. I, I had a microphone, I had a portable unit in my hand. The idea was to try to hijack an interview, but in that actual moment, I was too yeah, scared. Yeah. I was like, okay, uh, yes, 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 security. I didn't want to be kicked out of the whole damn show, too. Good call. So, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So, Holly, uh, I mean, In God's, Country is, In God's yeah. Country is probably one of my favorite from that it album. Is. What about you? Oh, it's what probably that? my, Where's it rank you for know, you, my, my favorites fluctuate on any given day. Today, if you ask me, it might be trip through your wires, trip through your wire, um, oh, and then good... Red Hill Mining Town and in God in God's Country are my favorites. Not the hits, not by any means. Yeah, but they uh, and the rattle and I forgot how fast they burned through that. That was song. awesome. It was, it's pretty intense. Like from yeah. rattle and yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a really good version of yeah. that. They play three minutes song I'm, and like. I'm uh, really yeah, happy to hear time, you right? and your your love for this album because a lot of people now, when you talk to them, we everybody recognizes that it's a it's a flawless album, not necessarily people's favorite, but I think people kind of jump on the the bashing band not bashing so much, but you know, like they had too much of the album, so they're kind of turned against it. Where to me, I you know that this is a flawless album that will always be in my rotation. 